In this video, I want to give you a tour of our course for Modern Latin American History. My name is Brandon Morgan, and I am the instructor for this course. I'm looking forward to meeting each of you. Um, right off the bat, I want to let you know that if you have any questions or concerns about, especially about the digital tools that we'll be using in this class, please don't hesitate to reach out via email or text message or Twitter um, to ask those questions and get some help. I'm always happy to help out because I understand that most of us don't have experience using things like Twitter or Tiki Taki for timelines. Um, they are very valuable for helping us learn history. Um, so I am happy to help you uh, get up and running with them. In terms of uh, taking you through the class then, the course, I just wanted to um, give you some understanding of how I've organized things and where you'll be able, or where you'll need to go, I should say, uh, to find the information that you'll need to complete all of the course assignments. This is the course landing page. Hopefully it looks familiar. Um, there is a link right here that will take you to Twitter, our course hashtag. Um, there's a link to announcements and to grades from there. Those links are also available over here um, in, excuse me, in the uh, course communication section of the class. Scrolling up, um, you'll click on start here to begin the course. Um, if you're watching this video, I'm sure you've already done this. Um, I will be replacing the video that's here with the one that I'm currently recording once I'm done. I'm also going to um, delete this link um, because the uh, Thinking Historically article is actually in Unit 1 now, um, so I don't need to introduce it to you here. Please do click on the Start Here module. Um, I'm not going to take you through it right now. Most of the information there is reference type material, but it's important. Um, and so you should know what is there. Um, some of it has to do with helping you make sure that your uh, system is up to date for using Blackboard. Um, there, are also information, or there is also information there um, from our Dean of Students about academic integrity. Um, there are tutorials for the uh, digital tools we'll be using in class and things like that. Um, I should mention the tutorials that are here are general tutorials. I have specific tutorials for the assignments we'll be doing in the reading tweets and the timeline tabs uh, here in Blackboard as well. You'll need to make sure that you read the syllabus, that you understand it and have a good handle on it. Um, once we get going with the class, or that's the first thing you should do um, after you've begun to navigate our shell in Blackboard. Uh, you'll click here to open the syllabus. I do want to point out that the way this course is constructed, there are multiple ways of getting to the same information. Um, so for example, in the syllabus, there are links, active links, to all of the detailed assignment instructions that you'll need for the class. Um, the discussion board rules, the guidelines are there, the journal entries, you can get those through the syllabus, but you can also get them here in the syllabus tab. Um, similarly, um, you can get things through the reading, or excuse me, through the learning modules, or by going to the individual tabs for each assignment type. And I'll say more about that in a minute. The instructor information section contains my contact info. Um, again, also in the syllabus, there's a, a photo from uh, the study abroad to Guatemala last year. Um, but as you scroll down, please read through all of this information about expectations for communication, um, also grading and late policies, assignments, those kinds of things. The course schedule, that's in the syllabus. It's also here just for ready reference if uh, you want to access it quickly. If you use the Blackboard calendar, um, that's here as well. I'm going to click on learning modules um, because the kind of bottom line here is that as long as you understand the syllabus and you follow the um, guidelines or the steps, I should say, outlined in the learning modules, you will complete um, all of the assignments and you'll make sure that you've done everything you need to do to succeed in the course. Um, I'm not going to click on unit one. That, of course, is the first one you'll be doing. Um, I'm going to show you unit two, though, because unit two through six all follow the same general pattern. Um, so we'll be doing the same kinds of assignments. Uh, we'll be, of course, changing the historical periods and uh, events that we're covering. Um, but again, the assignments will be roughly the same 
uh, for units two through six. You'll do the follow. You'll, you'll follow the same kinds of steps to complete unit one, um, but the kind of assignment structure is a little different there. So going into unit two here, once the internet catches up with us, um, the first thing that you'll see when you click on a learning module is this intro and objective section. So there is an introduction to the historical events and figures that we'll be learning about in that unit. And then as you scroll down, this section here gives you the checklist of assignments that you'll need to complete and by when for this unit. So please note that during the first week, I, each unit is two weeks, there are certain things you need to complete during the first week that are due on the first Sunday. That includes completing the reading, viewing the film clips, um, posting your reading tweets, and uh, choosing a topic for the timeline assignment. Then during the second week, you'll complete your uh, identification step on the timeline for the topic you've chosen. Um, you will, by the second Sunday, complete the connection step and your journal entry. There are also reminders here that you need to be working on the discussion board posts on your own time. There's information about that in the discussion board rules that I uh, showed you just a minute ago, or at least pointed to a minute ago. Um, these aren't due until later in the term, but you should be keeping them in mind and working on them little by little um, as we go. Each of these intros also includes the objectives for the unit and, as you can see, some kind of dated um, introduction videos in which I talk about the themes that we'll be discussing in the unit. To navigate the unit, you can either use this button here or the table of contents that is over here. Um, this one has uh, a, a unique section that is not in every unit um, on reading strategies. There's a lot to read in our course. It's a history course. Um, in this video and these uh, resources, I give you some ideas about how to best uh, get the most out of your reading. The next section, um, this is common throughout the units two through six, are the readings. So this gives you a list of everything that you need to read um, for this unit, and it gives you some questions to think about as you read. There's no assignment connection, or excuse me, uh, connected to these questions, um, but they're just there to help you organize your reading and give you some direction as you go. Each unit also contains some film clips and videos. And, and as I note here at the beginning in this paragraph, um, there are more videos here than you'll be able to watch um, in this given unit. The purpose of them is to help you to supplement the readings, to give you different perspectives so that you can better understand um, topics or events or issues that maybe you didn't quite understand so well uh, from the reading. But if you don't view all of the videos that are included in each unit, it's okay. The next section in each uh, of these learning modules is this um, that reminds you to go and complete your reading tweets. Uh, so again, this is a link that takes you to the course hashtag on Twitter, um, and it reminds you of what the assignment is so that you'll be sure to complete it. Each learning module also contains a link to the area where you will submit your work for the timeline in Blackboard. So remember that you have to submit, uh, for the timeline assignment, you have to submit to Blackboard and also to our timeline on TikiTaki. I'm going to click to launch to show you um, how that works. So this takes you um, to these links where you will, uh, depending on whether you're completing the ID step or the connection step, you'll click here to submit those documents. As I mentioned, I'm clicking on the timeline tab, there are multiple ways to access everything in the course, um, similarly with this. So if you have been working on the learning module and reading and you've closed Blackboard, to do the work that you've been doing, you've been on Twitter, and you come back because it's time to submit your work for the timeline, but you don't want to dig back through the learning module to get there, you can click on the timeline tab, and you can scroll down to the bottom, <clears throat> find the appropriate unit folder, open it, and here's that same um, submission location that I just showed you uh, that was accessible from the learning module. Going back to the timeline tab, um, 
I wanted to show you the, all the resources that are here because uh, these are important for helping us get started with our course timeline. Um, this is a link to the timeline itself. This is a link to the instructions. They're also available through the syllabus. And then this tutorial here uh, walks you through step by step um, how to submit your work on the class timeline. So please do watch that. This gives you a little bit more information about the expectations for choosing topics, um, the kind of uh, information that you need to provide in your entries. And then this one helps you think about historical significance um, more specifically. That's an important element of each of the timeline posts that we'll be talking about more. So please take advantage of those. I'm gonna show you the end of the learning module and wrap this up now. So going back to the unit two module, this is where the uh, table of contents comes in handy because rather than clicking through each section of the module, you can just jump ahead to where we were. So the next step is the journal entry. This is much like the timeline section. You click to launch. Um, when you click that, it'll take you to a section uh, or to the submission area where uh, you'll have access to the journal um, instructions. Those are also accessible in the syllabus tab, if you remember. Um, and that'll be the place where you will either write your journal or attach your journal as you've written it. The last section of each learning module is the self-assessment and looking ahead. Uh, this reminds you of everything that you need to have completed in that two-week period. Remember, there are different due dates for each of those steps um, so that you can make sure you did everything. And then looking ahead, it reminds you of the assignments that are not um, we're not going to deal with directly in learning modules themselves. So the discussion board, for example, that I mentioned already, um, and for you to be looking at the final project and thinking about the reading for Ayu Rigoberta Minchu. Those are the big projects that come due at the end of the course. So again, that's just reminding you of what's coming up so that you can keep uh, that on your radar to make sure that you get those assignments completed as well. Um, the course content, you know, all of these, please click on them. They provide more information, some tutorials about each of the assignments for the course. The Chastain intro videos, if you click on that, it goes to the website for our textbook. If you click on student site, you then have the option of finding um, videos about each chapter that the author himself uh, made and talked about. Again, that's just kind of an FYI. If it's something that you find helpful, please take advantage of it. Um, and then please take advantage of the help section here as well. Um, libraries will come in handy um, here and there. Also, Embinet, if you ever have uh, issues with Blackboard, that's where you'll get some help with that uh, on the technical side of things. Um, so again, hopefully this has been a helpful tour of our course. As I mentioned earlier, please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions that you have, and I look forward to starting our new semester together.